Wow, you're halfway through the course. Go you! Time to step it up with optimization. This is the part where the magic happens, and we make Patricia's repository board and qualification process board truly amazing. In this video, we'll focus on the way the data flows. In other words, how does a person who wants to travel to space end up being in the qualification process? Let's take a look at how we're going to level up Patricia's workflow. We'll be doing this in four steps. First, we'll streamline how new applications are added to the board using the form view. Next, We'll automate how applicants that enter the qualification process move from the repository to the qualification process board using automation. Next, we will discover how we can reflect existing application information in the repository to the qualification process board using the powerful connect boards and mirror columns. Finally, we will automate steps two and three using, you guessed it, the automations. Let's start with the first step. Until now, we received applications from different sources, social media, emails, and so on. I really wish we could streamline this and have all the applications come to one central place. Patricia, I'd like you to meet your new best friend, Monday Forms. Forms can be used to bring information into your monday.com board from outside. Now let's get to it. Simply add a form view to your board. You'll see each column becomes a question on the form. You can then customize it to your needs change the question names, make fields required, hide questions, and even add conditions to reveal additional questions. You can also choose which group in your board the submissions arrive to and customize the message once someone submits the form. Then, you can share the form with anyone by sending them a link. That's awesome! So now all of the Lucky Llama applications will automatically be added to our repository board via the form? That's correct! Now that we've streamlined our new applications via forms, we can move on to the second step, using automation to move the data from the repository to the qualification process board. Let's go back to Patricia's process map for a moment to refresh our memories. We've dealt with the start of the process and the first step. Now moving on to my first decision point. I have two options here. The applicant is either younger or older than 21. If the applicant is younger, he's disqualified. If the applicant is 21 or older, he then enters the qualification process. So, how is that going to look on my boards? Remember automations? Well, they're going to really help us here. Instead of creating a new item manually on the qualification process board, each time we get an application from someone who is over 21, we can automate this. We'll use the automation. When an item is created, and only if the number is greater than 21, Create an item in the Qualification Process Board. Oh wow! That means each time a form is submitted by someone over 21, they are going to automatically be added into the Qualification Board too? Yes, that's right. Let's see it in action. First, we will fill in the form and submit it. We will then see the item appear in the repository board, and since the applicant is over 21, according to the automation we set, an item will also be created automatically in the qualification process board. Yes, there it is. Now that our data is moving automatically from the repository to the qualification board, let's connect the boards and mirror some important columns in order to reflect some important applicant information. You'll probably need some basic information about each applicant when working from the qualification process board, like their email and phone number. Instead of adding that information to the qualification process board again, we can show this by connecting the boards and mirroring this information from the repository. For this, we'll use a combination of a connect boards column to connect the qualification process board to the repository and mirror columns to mirror the information about each applicant. First, let's mirror the email column to see each applicant's email address. Let's also mirror their phone number. Now that we've set up the connection, we can link the applicant on the qualification process board to the applicant on the repository board. Can I automate this part as well? Sure. Now that we have demonstrated how to connect boards and mirror data, 
we'll move on to the final step. This is where we edit the automation we previously added to the repository to automate the entire workflow. Let's edit the automation we added before. The trigger stays the same which is when an item is created and only if number is over 21. However, we will change the action to be create an item in board and connect boards. That's amazing. Guess that also means if their details change in the repository, they'll also change in the qualification board? You got it. Let's test the whole flow out. We first submit a form which lands in the repository. Since the applicant is also over 21, the automation kicks in. We can see here a new item was created in the qualification board and the contact information of the applicant is mirrored into the board. So, to summarize, we've just learned about the form view to streamline adding new data to a board from outside. We also learned how to connect boards and to use automations to move data between them. In the next video, we'll dive deeper into more ways to automate your workflow. Stay tuned!